For decades, Jerry Lewis' muscular dystrophy telethon was a Labor Day tradition. From right to left, Lewis is seen with Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin during the 1976 event. AP Photo Labor Day, the first Monday in September, which Americans will celebrate on this day in 2017, began as a series of individual state holidays. In 1887, Oregon became the first state to make Labor Day an official public holiday. Linda Stinson, a former U.S. Department of Labor historian, noted that around that time, New York, New Jersey and Colorado also approved it as a legal holiday. Soon, some 30 states had joined in to celebrate Labor Day. Story continued below after Congress met in 1893, Sen. James H. Kyle R.S. D. introduced legislation, which was subsequently approved unanimously by the Senate and House, to make Labor Day a legal holiday throughout the nation, including the District of Columbia and overseas territories. On June 28, 1894, President Grover Cleveland, a Democrat, signed the bill into law. Cleveland acted six days after the end of the Pullman strike in Chicago. Historians remember the walkout as having precipitated the Haymarket Massacre, when federal troops and marshals gunned down the striking workers. Some union officials advanced May 1 as an alternative date for the holiday. May Day, then as now, was celebrated throughout much of Europe as International Workers' Day. But Cleveland feared that observing Labor Day on May 1 would encourage Haymarket-style protests and would strengthen socialist and anarchist movements that, though distinct from one another, had rallied to commemorate the Haymarket affair on International Workers' Day. Historians report that now, 130 years after the first Labor Day celebration, doubts persist on who first proposed the workers' holiday. Some records show that Peter J. McGuire, General Secretary of the Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners and a co-founder of the American Federation of Labor, was first union official to suggest a day be set aside to honor those who from rude nature have delved and carved all their grandeur we behold. But others hold that Matthew McGuire, a machinist, not Peter McGuire, founded the holiday. Recent research seems to support the contention that Matthew McGuire, later the secretary of Local 344 of the International Association of Machinists in Patterson, New Jersey, proposed the holiday in 1882, while serving as secretary of the Central Labor Union in New York. What is clear is that the Central Labor Union adopted a Labor Day proposal and named a committee to plan a demonstration and picnic. The first Labor Day holiday was celebrated on Tuesday, September 5, 1882, in New York City, by the Central Labor Union. It held its second observance on September 5, 1883. In 1884, the first Monday in September was selected as the best date to hold the holiday, where it has remained to this day. Source U.S. Department of Labor